The page turn transition is a new way to use swipe gestures to move from scene to scene. In this prototype of a weather app, I'm going to move from scene to scene just using this new page turn gesture. It lets you get from city to city just by swiping. And the swipe gesture corresponds to where your mouse or your finger is on the swipe. It's great for apps like this, but it's also good for things like books, where people are expecting to be able to move from page to page or scene to scene using swipe gestures. Adding a page turn transition to this document is super easy. This is a document from our gallery called Tales of Nazaruddin, and I recommend checking it out. I'm going to go to the scene inspector and go to the on swipe left action and change the transition to page turn. And that's it. Now I can swipe from right to left on this scene and it'll take me to the next scene. So the way this works, any swipe gesture from right to left on the scene will take us to the next scene. And the main timeline of this scene will only play after the gesture is complete. If you ever need to set up elements in a scene you're transitioning to, use the new on prepare for display action. This lets you run JavaScript or trigger custom behavior to prepare objects for display. Keep in mind that you can use on swipe for any direction to create a page turn transition. When you use the page turn transition, make sure you add continuity so that people can swipe in either direction to switch between pages or scenes. And of course you can use top to bottom swiping to use the page turn transition if you want to move in the other direction, if you want to move from scene one and then swipe up to go to scene two. So that's the page turn transition in Hype 4. If you have any questions as you get going, let us know in the comments below. Thanks.